In the last video we looked at converting a binary number to a deanery number. This time we're going to get a deanery number, like let's say 94, and we're going to convert that into a binary number, the zeros and ones. To do this we're going to have to write our table um, just like we did the other way. So we're going to start with 1, double it, 2, double it, 4, double it, 8, double it, 16, double it, 32, double it, 64, double it, 128. And I've got the eight columns I require. So if I want to represent 94, I need to be thinking about which of these numbers am I going to need to make up 94. Now if I used 128, um, I would already be over the top of 94. So I know that I'm definitely not going to need 128, so I can draw a zero in it. Now, because I know that 64 is less than 94, I know that 64 can go into the 94. So I'm going to say, yes, I'm going to use this 64. Now, at this point, I like to keep a running total of what I'm up to. Now, this sounds a bit silly at this stage because I've only got one number, so I am up to a total of 64. So I'm just going to make a note in any way you like. I'm going to do it at the bottom of this line. I keep my lines long here. I'm just going to remember at this point I was up to 64. So the next stage I need to do is if I added on 32, would I be over the top of 94? Let's just figure that out. I'm just going to do write 32 underneath and add those two things up. 64 add 32 is 4 add 2 is 6. 6 of 3 is 9. That gets me to 96. That's above the 94, which tells me that I can't add on 32 because I'm going to be over the top of it. So I know I'm at zero here, and I'm still only up to 64 with my number because I decided not to add on the 32. So on to the next step. Can I add on 16? Well, I can go and write 16 underneath here and see where we get to. 4 add 6 is 10. 6 add 1 is 7. Add the 1, 8. That gets me up to 80. And that is under 94, so yes, I will have the 16. And that reminds me I'm up to 80, so I can just put 80 underneath that line there. I can then see if I want to add on the 8. This is where it gets a bit easier. I can do mentally in my head that if I add on 8, I'm going to get to 88. I'll write it like this, just for comfort. Um, but I'm up to 88, which is fine. So I did need the 8. Yes. So I need to put a 1 in there to say yes, do count the 8. And now I need to remember that I'm up to 88. Can I add 4 on to 88? Well, 88 add 4, that's going to get me up to 92. That's fine, because I need to go to 94. So 1, yes, I do need that 4. I'm now up to 92. If I added on 2, that oh, actually, that's going to get me right up to my 94. So add on my 2, that gets me up to my 94, the magic number I was aiming for. So I do want the 2. That reminds me I'm up to 94. Do I want to add 1 onto 94? No, that's going to put me over the top. So I could just put a 0 there. What this has told me is that if I want, I could say that the number 94 in deanery is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 oh, um, in binary.